All right, we're on hole number two of the Easter Open Tournament in Monday's qualifying round of the Ricky Division. Let's go to the Golf Clash Notebook and check out hole number two. All right, this is the hole. So I really like this shot from over here as opposed to the layup. I, I This layup is just, you know, n no matter what you do on this hole, it's going to be dangerous. But I, but the deal is, is that if you can can get this shot over here, then you've given yourself a great opportunity for albatross. If you get this shot over here, you're pretty much just relegating yourself to trying to get onto the green so that you can get an eagle because it's super hard to get around those trees and have any consistency on trying to go for that eagle. So let's go in and pick some clubs here. I definitely want to take an extra mile and I definitely want to take backspin club as for the rest for the rest of the stuff, I'm not going to really get into my short iron range, so it's going to be, more than likely, it's going to be a guardian. And I don't have any monster, I don't have a whole big selection of monster balls, so I'm going to just use a titan. And if you've got lesser developed clubs, this is, this is, this is a hole that you might want to consider using a bigger ball on to help you get over so that you don't have to use a lot of overpower. The key here is that the shot is so, you've got so little room on the left and the right that the key here is, is to not have to do a lot of overpower so you don't risk ending up in the rough because that will, that will definitely mess you up. So we're going to do max here. So we're, with the wind, the way that the wind's blowing, the wind's going to blow me 4-3. So there's 4-3. So I'm over just with the wind. And it's going to put me up in this area. So I want to go just a little to the right with my side spin so that I'm getting out there in the flat. And then I'm going to put just, I'm not going to put any overpower on it per se. I'm just going to rub up against the nubs. Hit a great to the right. And I think for the spot that we set ourselves up, that we should be fine. Lots of room. Not trying to get out there into my, in my long iron range. If you get out there in your long iron range, it, to me, when you're doing these backspin spot shots, it's, it's questionable on whether or not I would have a better shot with my long iron versus my, my wood. If we were trying to roll it in and finesse it in, then you probably have a better shot with a backbone or a more accurate long iron than you would with your wood. But a shot like what our opponents do where they're trying to overpower to get over there, the deal is, is that that's not the desirable side. No matter where you end up up there, unless you end up way in the front up there, it's not really going to, you're not benefiting yourself because you're not really setting yourself up for the next shot. Whereas over here, now we've got a really good shot at it. So there's my max club right there. And max club on this is one four per ring. I'm going to go right at it. Just a little bit. Okay, so it's one four per ring, so that'd be three four two. So that's a three ring pull. Nice and easy. Hit it perfect. Give myself a shot. You never know with these backspin shots, though. I mean, you can you can get it right there, and like there, it didn't. The backspin didn't really engage. That's because at that level, that backs that guardian doesn't have quite as much backspin as when it's a few levels higher or a level higher. And that'll be an adjustment we have to make to uh, as the week goes on. You have an Albi look here. So we want to try and improve that look so that we give ourselves we give ourselves a pretty decent shot for Albi. I'm not exactly sure why my opponent feels it's necessary to try and get every single bit and do a max overpower shot with your rough iron. And then go right back to the rough again. 
as opposed to just hitting it into the fairway and giving themselves another shot. Now I could blow their whole deal here by missing this and I really should because I'm just practicing but I will help them out and get them an eagle or excuse me a birdie. It's so common when you're playing this game that you see people, they go, if you hit into the rough, it's very common that you then turn around and you'll watch them, they'll hit in the rough, and then they turn around and they hit in the rough again, or they go from the sand to another sand trap. Hit to the spot that you were originally, if you have a chance to get on, you got to go for that, no matter what. But if you don't have any chance to get on, hit the ball to the spot that you were trying to hit to originally, because you brought the club for that shot. Or maybe you're trying to see if that shot's even worth taking. So hit to the spot that you really want to and see what that shot looks like. You might get to that spot and go, wow, I'm working really hard to try and get to the spot and that shot sucks. So maybe I should try something different. But going from one rough area to another rough area or one sand to another sand is not going to move you up the charts. All right, that was hole number two of the Easter Open Tournament and Monday's qualifying round. Thanks for watching.